Last week, Mistral AI announced the release of their first large language model. Trained with 7 billion parameters, it claims to outperform Meta's 13 billion parameter Llama 2. We're going to try it out using a tool called Alama, which lets you run LLMs locally. Let's download Alama from the download page and then we'll install it. And once we've done that, we're going to navigate to the models page. And if we browse through, we can see lots of different ones. And eventually we get to Mistral. So let's click on that. Uh, and so on this page, we can see a bunch of information about the model, how to use it, and the memory requirements. Now let's click on the tags tab at the top uh, where we can see all the different variants that have been made available for this model. So what we're going to do next is move over to the terminal and we're going to call the Alarma command. And if we just call it with no arguments, we get back a list of the available commands. And so the one that we're interested in first is called pull. So we can say Alarma pull and then we can pass in the name of the model that we want to pull down to our machine. So here we'll say Mistral instruct, for example. And you can see it says it does it crazy fast, uh, but that's because I've already uh, downloaded it before recording this. We can then call Alarma list, and that will give us back a list of all the models that we've got on our machine. So you can see I've got, I've got a few. I've got the Falcon one, I've got the Llama two, and then you can see there in the middle, I've got Mistral as well. What we're going to do now is run the model and we can do that by calling Alarma run and then the name of the model. So we'll go Alarma run, Mistral, and we're going to call it in verbose mode so that we can, uh, we can get some uh, extra metadata uh, after each uh, prompt is executed. This launches it in uh, interactive mode and then we can ask a question. So we'll say, what is Apache Pino? And you can see that it sort of prints out the results in real time as the tokens are coming through. And then once it's done, it tells us uh, how long it took and how, how long, how many tokens were used and how, how quickly it was, uh, it was rendering uh, the tokens. And you can see the answer is not bad. I mean, I mean, I find with, with some of these smaller models, sometimes uh, factual questions can give you the wrong answer. So in this case, it says Pino was developed by Facebook when it was actually developed at LinkedIn, but the rest of it looks all right. Let's ask a follow-up question. So how does it compare to Apache Kafka? And you can see it gives us better results. So they're both open source distributed streaming platforms. That's pretty good. Uh, and then uh, contrast them uh, with each other. And I think it's done, a, it's done a reasonably good job there. There might be a few things that you might tweak, but that's not a bad answer. Now on the product page, it says that Mistral is actually optimized for tasks like summarization and classification. So let's see if we can give it a try with some of those with the help of this BBC article. So the article is about a use of the video assistant referee or VAR in the Liverpool versus Tottenham match at last weekend. And basically things went very, very wrong. So for simplicity's sake, I've copied all the text from that page into a text file on my machine. Uh, let's just have a look at it. So if we scroll through, you can see we've just got just the text. So no HTML or anything like that. Uh, we've just got the pure text. What we're going to do now is we're going to call uh, Alarma run again, but this time we're going to pass in the prompt uh, directly rather than going into interactive mode. And we're going to say, please, can you summarize this article? And then we're just going to cap the uh, article into the prompt. So it's just going to have all the text uh, from the article in the prompt. Uh, and you can see it starts printing out a result. So it says this article reports the situation surrounding the VAR, uh, is at a crisis point following the controversial decision and so on. And th I think it's a really good, it's a really good answer. And it took about like in total, just over six seconds to give us that result. How about if we ask it something else? Let's say, can you pull out five bullet points from that same article? Again, it does a good job, pulls out five pretty good points. How about if we try out the categorizations? So let's say, hey, if you had to categorize this article, what tags would you use? And so it comes up with some, some pretty good tags here. The only one that's a bit confusing to me is why does it say it's FIFA World Cup 2018? I wonder whether that was mentioned on the page or I'm not sure otherwise how it came up with that. If, if we did this again, maybe we could guide it a bit and say, hey, just give me top five tags or something like that. Now, as well as using the CLI, we can call alarm on models via HTTP API. So let's try that. So we'll use the curl command and we can call localhost uh, 11434 uh, slash API slash generate. And then we need to pass in some JSON. So we need to give it the name of the model. So in this case, Mistral, and then the prompt. So in this case, so let's say, what is the sentiment of this sentence? So it's the first uh, sentence from the article. And then we'll just put the results into less. And you can see it comes back. We get a stream of, of JSON, which has the sentiment of this sentence is negative. And then, and then it has a little bit more. And then at the end, it has uh, all the metadata as well. Now that's kind of a bit, bit tricky to, to process, but luckily for us, 
uh, there are libraries that, uh, that make this easier. So we're going to conclude by learning how to call the model in Python code using the Llama index library. Now I've been using poetry for all my Python projects. So we're just going to have a quick look at my Py project uh, Tomal file. So you can see here under the dependency, uh, under the dependency section, I've got Llama index. Everything else is just, is just the default of what it created for me. Okay. So first of all, we're going to say from Llama index LLMs, import a Llama, then we're going to create an instance of the model. So we're going to pass in Mistral instruct as our model name. Next, we're going to just load that BBC file um, into memory. So we'll just create a text variable and read it. And then we'll just print out the first 500 characters. So you can see we've got, uh, we've got the text ready. And now we're going to ask the model to do a bit of entity extraction. So which people are mentioned in this article, and then we'll pass in the article. And as you can see, it comes back with the response. So it looks, it looks pretty good, but let's just print it out by calling response.text. And you can see it's pulled out. And I think that are, that is pretty much all the people who are on the page. We've got Jamie Carragher, we've got the PGO MOL, that's the governing body for referees, as it tells us in brackets, we've got it, and we've got the players involved as well. So I think Mistral and Alama are both awesome, and I'll definitely be playing around with these tools more. If you want to learn more about running LLMs on your own machine, check out this video here where I show how to run hugging face models locally.